Because I'd like to go over to it at some point. Like, as a fucking laser shot it out of the sky, and I, I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was just a big old alien dude or what. Um. Okay. So if I am going to go out, I want the beacon, I want a knife, I want to make sure I have my normal tools with me. Um... Just gonna put these away for now. Some water. Do I have any more... ...things to make bleach? Oh, advanced chemicals. Hydrochloric acid and... Polyaniline. That's very new. Okay. Oh, it is coral tube. I'm just gonna make like two of them. Not even. That'll be fine. Put those away. Put that away. Mmm. Let me take out that. Put that away. Rest of that is fine. I want to eject this battery. And take one of these old ones. Oh wait, what? Oh, I put the fully charged ones back. Okay. I'll take an extra one just in case I need it. Here we go. Ooh, so I wanted to see too. I haven't looked at this yet. What can I make for my sea moth to upgrade in it? Enhances safe depth, uh, diving depth does not stack. Oh wait, I can actually, let me do this right now because I have all these with me. That way I can maybe explore a little bit farther down without worrying about my Seamoth taking more damage. So was it two glass and an ingot? Which I know I have enough titanium to do with. How do you craft it though? Oh, do you need the mod station? Vehicle. You need the vehicle modification station. I don't think I can make it. If I can't, I won't worry about it. I'll just, uh... Park the ship above a certain point, and then... Ignore it. There's no way you can't. Oh wait, yeah, vehicle upgrade. I just need a computer chip and computer and copper wire. So get rid of you. Computer chip uses
all that, and then more copper wire. Pretty sure I have most of this, if not all of it. So, four copper, technically. I need two of you. I need a gold. I think that's right. Because I make two of you. I make the computer chip. And then I make the... Vehicle upgrade station. I'm assuming I need to do it in the building, so... Pull that out. see like out here I guess yeah I'll do that cool see moth docked fully charged and it has a fabricator in prawn suit okay uh that's cool <laughs> well uh we'll see what that is later and now I need more titanium to make the depth upgrade. Just a little bit more. Then while I'm out, my big mission is going to be to just try to look out for extra materials as we see it. Wait. Wait, what? You can change the sub? Like, the color of it? Wait. Wait, that's sick. Yo, I want... Change the name? A pink sub? It'll be easy to see. Let me do, uh... I'll do orange. I'll do a... You do a stripe? Do a pink stripe. Man, the stripe is not noticeable. <laughs> what am I making right now? And the name. How do you change the... How do you see the name color change? Oh wait, sea moth. Uh, what do we name a chat? It's on the other side. S S bald. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna change it to like white. So you can really, really see that detail underwater. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's what that does. This lets me make the mods. Torpedoes? Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't make the ingot. I got the titanium, didn't get the ingot. Also... Oh. I guess I'll just leave it alone for now. <laughs> um... Yeah. 
That's fine. Now we can do it. Let me also go in here real quick and just unpin everything because I don't need to see it the whole time. Look at that, it's like the deep dungeon stuff. All right, depth. Well, depth module. What's the rest of the stuff we can make for it? We could do solar charger, recharges Seamoth's power cell while in the sunlight. That sounds cool as fuck. Um, that just sounds like we would never have to worry about battery stuff in it at all and we wouldn't need to park it in here. Seamoth perimeter defense system generates a localized electric field designated to or designed to ward off aggressive fauna. That also seems kind of cool. Torpedo system, really cool. And then sonar, dedicated system for detecting and uh, displaying topographical data on the HUD. So like the, basically like the layering of the landscape underwater. Is that what it's talking about? Like what we see on the, the sea glide? Uh, if I can see it. I can't toggle the map right now, which is weird. Maybe because I'm in here. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's like, like topography. All right, um, let's go in here. Upgrades, put that in. It can now go to third, crush, yeah, crush depth that is now 300 meters. So we can definitely explore some new stuff. Um, <laughs> SS Vault. Uh, that's getting a green. Uh, basically gonna put like green for anything that's like absolutely safe. Or no, blue should be absolutely safe stuff. Green is stuff that's like. I don't remember, pretty much. The shallows are definitely safe. That's safe because it's only 100 meters. This is new territory. This is new territory. This guy is. Oh no, wait, this guy's dead as fuck. But it was in a little bit of a scary area, but it shouldn't be as bad now. Because we can dive to that deep with the... Um... With the sea moth. These two will all... Or yeah, all three of these maybe we'll go take a look for. Um... Yeah, otherwise... Let's go exploring. Oh. Repair? Welcome aboard Power Systems Online. On. I don't want to go to that yet. I want to go to one of these, like, newer... Where, where should we go first? Life Pod 12 sunk to the ocean bed. The proposed Degazi habitat. Or at 300 meters, the second Officer Keen's last broadcast location. This is the place where... Oh wait, this is where the island was, I think. That's the island, I'm pretty sure. But we didn't go to his pod, actually. Now we can... But in this direction is the island, so if we want to, while we're over here, we can grab some extra materials. Also, not really looked at this spot at all. Not see shit. I I don't like diving around this or like a what's this dark out? 
But yeah, look at that. We can go to 300 now. So I'm not super worried about finding this thing. Got a bunch of shit over here. Any... Any hor horrible creatures nearby? Doesn't look like it. You? I wouldn't say you're horrible. I wouldn't say that at all. I do want to look around here briefly. There's a daisy or something. Oh, this is more fragments. I'm gonna scan everything I can. Supply crate with water. Extra water. We like water. Water is good. Water is good. Power cell fragment. Or charger, rather. Modification station. Yeah, just stuff we're familiar with. And we can cut into this. Imagine if I didn't bring my cutting tool. I want to know how, like, how far down I can go with this, uh, helmet. Ow. Rude. What's this? Mod station. I'm assuming it's, like, also the 300. Oh, data pot. Reinforced dive suit. Pog. That is very cool. Okay. Thirty seconds. Wait. Oh, that was one of those bars. Hold on. Um. Let's go back in here real quick, because uh, this makes sense. By the way, you can just do this. <laughs> There we go. Also, leaving the light on is kind of funny, too. This looks spooky as all hell. We'll, we'll go down here for a little bit, maybe. Or moon pool. Prawn suit torpedo arm. Oh, we know there's something called a prawn now. Without it being like other thingy. In the mod station. Yep, and there's the arm for it. Just extra. T Where are you? You're nothing. Oh, dude, look at that. There's some stuff down there. Some. There's a lot of stuff. Creature egg. I'm assuming there's a scary boy. Like one of those. Gel sack. Eye stalks. Oh, these guys, this has like a bunch of eyes in it. Okay. Lithium. I like lithium. 30 seconds. I'm scan this and then we gotta go back up. I'm gonna move the Seamoth a little farther down so I can explore this stuff.
Yeah, like right here. I just want to see what I can scan over here additionally. So I thought I saw something. Yeah, like a stuff over here. More moon pool fragments. Yeah, the titanium is something I'm gonna really try to keep an eye on. Is that? Oh, it's ruby. Plenty of it too. Is that a diamond? It's quartz. I've been debated. What is that? Alien vent. Sus. Is this like a like a thermal vent or something like that? Time capsule. I could pick up the gel sack. Oh, it actually gel sack. It gives you food and water. I'll keep it because maybe I can grow it or do something else with it. No. Oh. What the hell was that? What hurt me? I legitimately don't know what hurt me there. Hold on. Is there anything I can drop? Not really. Yeah, this is one of those blocks we saw at the beginning. Wait, is my game... Why does it keep doing that? Oh, this is shale. This is the stuff that can have the... What the fuck? Bleed your... Oh! What the fuck? It made me bleed! I can't scan it. It's too tiny. Integrating new PDA data. I'm gonna kill ya. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Hate that. Let me let me get in here for a second to recover. <laughs> These guys are just they're like little zombies, dude. I saw Shale, and I got excited, and then they started fucking with me. Lithium's okay. I was kind of hoping for diamond. It's also a piece of gold. I don't want to do any more of that stuff, because I've got too much on me. Open the time capsule. What? What? Image? Free? What? Free inventory space to pick up, but all that stuff just disappeared. These things are super annoying, dude. 
gold. I don't... Yeah, this thing is weird. That thing is definitely weird. Oh, it was that thing. That's what was hurting me earlier. I hope whatever was in the time capsule thing didn't, like, get super fucking... Like, I hope it didn't vanish. I'll have to go farther in here. I don't think it's necessary because the Seamoth is already super good. But it would be nice if I could, like, store stuff in here. Like, I have a little tiny pocket storage for, like, a few items. Not much, but just, like, maybe a six, like a 16 size block. There's just, there's a ton of stuff here. Let's, uh, let's go in here. I want to, I want to see what's in this little, little ravine. I'm looking here. It's probably more of those, like, big shocky boys that were teleporting us. Where are you? Ghostweed? How you doing, Arozef? Welcome. What is that? Blood oil? Can't scan it. Wait. Oh. It is one of those guys. They're doing some... They're doing some scary stuff over there. I'm just gonna drop a little bit. Oh. Wait, oh, it gave me, like, a bunch of... I guess I have, like, an invisible inventory right now. Hope you're having a good evening. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, I have no oxygen. Let me go back and let me take the Seamoth a little farther down. I'm fine. Oxygen. Oh, I'm fine. I'm a okay here. That fish wasn't. Was it? It was this way. I'm like at the limit as well. I'm just now noticing. Notice that. Um, I'll just drink this because I can handle it. it. It's just giving me a bunch of posters, which I don't know how I feel about that. What are you? It's a charger. It was this way. Well. 
that's the way I want it to look. I just gotta be careful I don't dive too far down. Yeah, because there's the blood oil. Or blood boil, rather. This looks insane, though, dude. I don't know how far down I can go. I just heard a bad sound and I want to just be careful. Like it sounds like something big is nearby. But it could also just be Minecraft cave sounds, Omega oh lol. Why do I hear like a heartbeat? I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what a ghost leviathan is either. I haven't seen one of those yet. Big fish. I would assume I could see it. Unless it literally phases through walls. I will make a slight mention, uh, Arzef, that, uh, usually when it comes to, like, it's not the biggest deal. And dead zone. Yeah, so, like, that that's kind of the thing I was about to say. Uh, try to keep... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Saw something there, and I was like, what was that? It's a tentacle. Um, try to keep, like, descriptions vague for the moment, because I want some of the, like, encounters to be kind of a surprise. Like, if I do end up running into whatever this guy is. So I can't go farther here. I don't want to take damage. I could like glide around the edge a little bit. Gaming. We're gaming somewhat. You're in hell too. This is a. Uh... I- What the fuck is that? Okay, that's new. That is very new, whatever that thing is. It looks like it's electric. Go over to it. Let me- I want to park my Seamoth in a place that's not gonna get fucked. Like here-ish. I think this is where we were.
Yeah, because I remember the blood. Okay. I'll dive down though. I also, I have no idea. I have no idea if I can go this deep or not. Like me, myself. Yeah, there it is. Before I go to, I want to scan this. No, you're all good. Thank you for stopping by, Arrowsef. I'm... Shale out prop. Okay. I see where it is. Go to it. I am gonna go to it. I just wanna have full oxygen before I do. That's a bop. That's a bop, dude. You hear this shit? Oh wait, that's a new fish. Why is it groovy hour in Hell 8? It, it do be like that. Where is it? Okay. Uh, I lost it? Don't like the fact I can't see it anymore. Kinda wanted to, uh... Oh, there it is. I wanna scan you. Hello! Oh, you... Sparky, why can't I scan you? It won't let me scan it? My game's broken? Magnet BS. Oh, there we go. Ampiel. Careful. Okay, this guy, this guy seems fine. He seems fine. He seems chill. 30 seconds. Uh, I'm not chill right now, though. I'm gonna see if I can take my Seamoth Father out a little bit. I'm fine. Okay. So we go out a little bit farther here. I see all these glowy things. Let me look at that real quick. It's just lights I got. Oh. Uranite. You're a night guy. Why it sound like you made the gasping for air sounds? Because I did. <laughs> it's not hard to make those sounds. Uh, unless, uh... So... 
I gotta figure out if I can actually loot this, because I found a time capsule that had five million posters in it, and that they're just, like, slowly entering my- Yeah, like, look, I got a little miniature Aurora. Ooh, I got a, a arcade gorge toy. Eat food. I got- it, It's really just, like- This is a toxic game right now, dude. Eat this gel sack. Okay, good. Is this diamond? No, quartz. Okay. I think I'll just continue to push forward. And like every time I see something like a little bit interesting, like these. Oh, this is the same material that you see in D2. It's a blood root. This is in the raid, right? That's from the Traveler. Hit it. Oh, you're new. I want to scan you. You look more terrifying than the ones we've seen before. Blood crawler. So the ghost people are. That is the most broken hitbox I've ever seen. It is made of rock, apparently, so we can't do anything to it. This is kind of a cool area, though. Blood oil? Yeah. I just can't loot it. I've got too much, like, actual shit. Your inventory's full? Oh. I'll drop, like, a titanium. Just so we can, like, collect it. Wait, what? Oh, wait. You don't need 50 titanium? I mean, I do. Probably a four slot. What about this one? I've seen them, like, on the ground, so... Drop the silver. Lithium I know I need. Thirty seconds. Uh, I'll drop one quartz. Yeah, pick it up. There we go. We'll look at that in a second. Red oil-filled pustule containing blood vine seeds. Oh, maybe processed into benzene. Okay. Whatever that is. Cool. Really annoyed I've got, like, these random toys. Like, just in the middle of here. Now the United States is going to come since there's oil. I think they would have come a long time ago. Maybe they tried. Maybe they're the aliens that we keep seeing. Is that more like that? It's one of those ghostly boys. We continue. Going forward little by little. It's not really forward, it's just kind of like looking around at this point. This is a very, like, scary place. Making our way downtown, basically. Oh. The fuck of that guy. Oh, there's more, the more, multiple. There's multiple of them. Cool. Wait, did I just accidentally go back to base? Oh. I guess this loops around here. Well, I can drop off my stuff now. 
Which is, uh, that was a nice roundabout. Let me, uh, yeah, let me drop off my stuff. I straight up thought this guy turned into a fucking summoner, dude. Did you see that? He teleported and then two of those guys appeared. This also gives me a chance to recharge. Wanna pass the fan? Something kind of funny I'm thinking about. I hope whenever I get the Cyclops finally, I hope that's enough room down there. Teleport the guys onto you. That would honestly be... Just <laughs> okay. Now, when I see that, I do want to make one change because it's gonna bother the shit out of me. I'm gonna do all caps bald. Yeah, because that would have bothered me with the lowercase. Like it's not not uniform at that point. Oh wait, I can make storage module. I was just complaining about that. Well, not complaining, but I was just thinking like, man, it'd be nice if you could store stuff in it. I'm just gonna make that. I'm assuming this is like, you have to install it as a mod, maybe. Yeah, it's a mod, so small storage locker. And where is it? I'm assuming it's like... Is that it right there, actually? Yeah, open storage. Is it just the same size? Yeah, it's like the same size as the other thing. Honestly, that is sick. You could put many? Yeah. You know what I'd like to do, though, instead? Like, that's nice. That's like if I have something I want to make sure I keep in my Seamoth, I think. Um, like, honestly, you know what? Like, having tools in here would be the best thing. Like, if I don't need the laser cutter on me, all the time I would put it in here. If I don't need the repair tool on me, I'd put it in here. That kind of thing. Scanner I pretty much would need all the time. Um, the knife I would need all the time, very likely. And, like, that would be it. Um, other than that, it would just be, like, an overflow storage. Place a random base stuff down. Yeah, let's see if... Oh, can I actually make a... Let me see. Can I make a table? Like a little... Yeah, I can make a desk. Let me make an office real quick. A little office space. <laughs> it's like, I come in here, main place... I don't know what I'm going to do here. Maybe make an observatory or something. What is like... Nah, you, you don't really see much. I want to make sure I'm... Maintaining the foundation stuff too. Um... I'll do, like, the... Yeah, I'll make an office, like, over here. How about? So... Multi-purpose. I can't make it there. Why can't I make it there? Now, hey, now. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Not there. Multi-purpose. So why can't I make that? Is it too close to, like, the... Oh, you know, it's probably because it's too close. To all this extra shit over here. That kind of sucks. Honestly? I think I... Try to get rid of this? Why can't I get rid of it? Is 
There's not something in it, is there? Oh, maybe because this locker is like too close to it or something like that. Shoot. I don't know what I'll do with this thing because it doesn't really do anything. Actually, I could do that. Maybe now I can make it? Yeah, now I can make it. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's bad. Hold on. Hold on a chief. Hold on a minute, chief. Uh. Shit is falling apart. Because of point five, by the way. Okay. Now I gotta repair all that. At least my power station is not uh, getting screwed over. Thankfully. get in the Seamoth. Just for like two seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay. Lesson learned. Um... Take note of your stability before trying to build anything. Like, literally. Oh, wait, yeah. Right? Oof! Okay, there we go. Well, I'm here. Get some food in my system. Okay, that was a bit of excitement I wasn't expecting. I'm just trying to understand why I can't delete this.
the react content from where you get the chance. What do we got here? Regarding anti-barrier sidearms this season, we're super excited about the new rocket sidearm weapon subtype launching this Friday in the new Warlord's Ruin dungeon. Wait. What? Rocket sidearm? Huh? 30 seconds. Oh shit. That's that's so baffling, it's making me drown. Um Maybe it's talking about like Maybe there's a sidearm that's going to be in the dungeon that'll have, like, rockets? Like, rocket nanotech shit? We'll have to see. Is it, there is a comment on that that's also really nice to, like, point out. Are people forgetting about Wish Ender, Revision Zero, Arbalist, Arianus, Lament... Radiant, Volatile Rounds, Strand, there's literally so much anti-barrier options that these mods, why are people complaining like they need anti-barrier auto or something? I think that's a fair assessment. My main concern isn't like needing an anti-barrier ammo. I would like just like not another like every anti-barrier or like anti champion thing that we have on the first row is all primary ammo that's that's the thing i'm concerned with rocket sidearm yeah we'll have to see how that is it sounds cool whatever the hell they're talking about unless it's just like a tweet that they're like the d2 support team's just really cooking right now Um, oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna need to figure out something else for a storage space, I think. I don't think this room is gonna work. I think this should be, like, just a normal lobby sort of thing. I should like, draw something up off-stream. And just slowly work on it. I thought that said nothing good for a second. It should be like, oh, all white ammo are anti-barrier this season, all special are anti-overload, and all heavy are anti-unstoppable. I would be okay with something like that, yeah. Maybe just have that as the archetype, like in the, the individual categories. And then maybe the modifiers in the first column of the artifact are things like buffing. Well, okay, so no, it's just all buffs. So you get to pick whether you want to use anti-barrier, or not anti-barrier, but you maybe you want to use sidearms this season. Maybe you want to use uh, auto rifles. F like fusion rifles whenever that's a thing again like stuff like that just a buff to those in some respect because otherwise I don't know what they would do with that first column it wouldn't make sense the way they have it all presented um okay oh what is this My eyes are weak. <laughs> okay. So, I want to do... One thing real quick. 
Because I think I have an idea. I'm going to expand this way. Uh, middle. There we go. I'm going to expand this way. And... Or actually... Why can't I delete this? Oh, now I can. Okay, so... That I can delete. This one I can't. I'm 95% sure it's because of this locker. So let me... Let me do this real quick. I'm just gonna put, like... A locker in the middle right here. Literally, literally the only point of it is just to be temporary. Really. I'm gonna take this out. For as much of it as possible. I understand it looks like trash right now. Okay. I still can't delete this wing. Is there something else that I have here? L compart- wait, what? Now can I delete it? Okay, now I can delete it. Yeah, because what I want to do... <laughs> at least what I think I want to do currently is just make it like all straight lines. I do want... I want glass, I think, for some of it. So let me take out all the quartz I've got. Here. Cool. And oh, the power thing is gone. So I don't. I don't need the solar power thing any, there anymore. Anyway. And then I'm gonna make another one of these out here. Because I think basically this is like these little foundation spaces. I'm assuming this will work even this far out. Yeah, it does give me more space there. I think the ideal plan is I'll be able to make a bunch of multi-purpose rooms this way. This one is going to be my main storage room. If I had the titanium. I put all in here. Boom. Perfect. Now if I come back in here... Or actually, no. Here, here's what I have to do. I go in here, because I can make the lockers just in the room. Let me actually do it like this, because I want to make a doorway out here. Perfect. So that way, as soon as I'm done in this room, I can leave and go right in there if I need to. Or just, like, down in this area. Yeah, yeah, I'll drink fucking water. Thank you. Now, if I go in here. 
I'll put... Let me do one in the very center first. Because I want to see if I do this. If I can, like... Like, how close I can get these. So it looks like I can do it right here. Okay, and then one right there. Cool. Now, can I... Oh. Wait, you really can't put it on top? Oh, you can. Hey! Got a cute little guy hanging up there now. Cool. I'm gonna do it on this one too. Yay! Got some cute little guys hanging up on there. Uh, so the main reason I wanted to do this is I want to basically... I'm going to reorganize it, I think, off stream, but in my head. Take all of you out. Deconstruct this. This storage room over here. I'm going to have it set up where it's like just just a proper locker section, you know, where a bunch of these are going to be back and forth with each other. Along these lines. Right here. Or actually, a better example I could show. I just, I wish some of this stuff would snap a little bit better. But basically, back to back like that. Perfect. Can make this one go back a little bit farther. I think that's good. Uh, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna go for perfectionist shit because it, you can't snap anything in this game. But uh, just gonna make a bunch of like these little storage units here in the middle. Um, or at least along a line here, kind of. Just to make a lot of different options, essentially. But I'm not going to go too deep, too in deep with it tonight. I'll probably do this part off stream where I reorganize shit. But that'll be that room. And then... If I go outside real quick... Yeah. I think the plan is I want these... To basically surround the base. For foundation sake. I just wish I could, like, put it... My god, look at all the tubing, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, but no, I, I wish I could, like, put the tubing in a... Like, a better snapping position. Actually, can I pull it back one? 
this out? I have an idea. Let me do this one. I see a little bit of lead. I think eventually I'll get rid of these and if I can like make the panels on the sides for reinforcement, board, it'll be a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, cause it's not really that stable. Attach components must be deconstructed first. Okay, so this... I don't know what's keeping it stable right here. Maybe it's like whatever is inside the multi-purpose room. It's a little annoying. I can't take this one off either. Uh, I won't worry about that too much. I'm not going to worry about that too much. You know, this is also a locker room. Um, we got all these posters. They look super sick. Motivational posters. On your way to the locker room, you're... How do you place it? There we go. You get a little taste for, for stuff that you can check out in the future. Uh, and then there's the Aurora poster. Neat. Actually, I want to move that slightly. There we go. Cool. A little collectibles it's given me. We also got an actual Aurora miniature. Um. That I would rather be on a desk somewhere. So, I'm going to put that away. Uh, this is, uh... These are, these are funny. I'm glad I got those. Let's eat a bunch of you guys. I wonder if there's a way to make them more, like... I'm I was I was about to say nutritious, but it's like I need water intake is a big thing. All right, I'm not gonna worry too much about finishing the rest of <clears throat> that right now. I'd like to let's eat that last one. I'd like to drop everything and go back out and explore a little bit more before I call the stream. Um, I think I'm good there. I'm gonna take these. This extra bleach. Keep the repair tool. Keep the scanner. Keep that, that, that. Uh, I might actually just put the extra battery in here. Because nothing I... Oh, wait. My Sea Glide is, like, super low on battery. And you know what, actually? While I'm thinking about it. Um... Let me leave the Habitat Builder here. I'm not going to need that. Let me just replace some of these batteries so they can charge while I'm gone. And then I can put some of these in my bioreactor. It's already using a couple of them, so it's fine. 
eat the rest of them. But this way I can charge these other batteries. Oh, no, not these two. What else do I have? These two in here. I need to redo my scanner and I can recharge my laser cutter. Even though they're like relatively charged. That away, that away. Those are gonna charge while we're gone. Let's try to get as much nutrition as possible before we leave. I'm gonna get some water. Some wawa. Uh, I'll only take two of them. Tablet we can keep here. Let's go back out to... Where's my Seamoth, by the way? Oh yeah, I parked it out there because we were drowning. So we checked out the... Or actually, we didn't even get to that location. Hold on. Let's actually get to that location. I want to actually get there. Because if I can get in that spot, I'm not going to stop myself this close to the base. I'm just going to go. Because I want to see what the location looks like. If maybe there's a pod there I can interact with. If there isn't, I'll probably back off and uh, I'll figure something else out. There's those guys, so I'm, I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling alright. This place looks fine. Yeah, like, we, we were close to this area, I just didn't get to the pod. That's the only thing. Yeah, it was like down there. Yeah, there's the pod. That does not look right, but okay. Let's grab some of this stuff. I'm more I'm not so concerned about the rubies, it's more the... Like if there's shale rock, I'd like to break it open. Some of these gel sacks. What do we got here? Ultra high capacity tank. Huge. That's actually very nice. And what do we have in here? Doesn't look like anything. Just the pod got destroyed. Why is there? I thought that was a bottle. Holy shit. Best physics ever right there. Uh, so safe to say these guys are gone. There's no P. Oh, there is a PDA. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached. Okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need okay. to evacuate. Negative. 
You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! 30 seconds. Uh, that sucks for them. Captain Big gone. May his sacrifice, uh... Bring about everybody else's salvation who is uh, still alive from the Aurora. It's not quite a sacrifice, but you know, he went down with his ship. There's nothing else in this spot, so we got that at least. Let's, uh... Take a little bit of inventory... ...of our situation. Let's kill all those guys, because they're parasites! Absolute parasites. It's also getting colder as we go down, I notice it's 14 degrees Celsius right now. Stupid worms. Alright, so... Uh, this place has been investigated. We had nothing really here. We could go to the sunken ocean bed over in this direction. That is... Really far away. Okay. Fucked up. I want to grab that. I see this down here too. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the ruby. When we actually start needing the ruby, I'll pick it up, but I don't, as far as I'm aware, I don't need it yet. Is that quartz or diamond? It is quartz. I don't think I've actually seen like a raw diamond since. Um. Oh, well, there's diamond there. Speaking of... Yeah. Jail is real nice. Jail's real nice. Um, let's make our way back up. I'd like to... Oh, hello. We can cut into this. See what we have here. We got a lot of upgrades already, though. We, like, we can look and... Maybe try to figure out some new stuff to build. What are you? Pick up microscope. Huh? Oh, another data box for Cyclops fire suppression system. That'll be useful for us when we actually get a Cyclops. Ooh, we can maybe look at that in a second. I moved my sea glide to a different key. I hope it doesn't fuck me up. Oh, my inventory is full. Well, would you look at that? Maybe if we had a little bit of extra inventory space. Oh, we do. We're reminded by the SS bald every time now. Nice. Uh, I want to take that. The diamonds are nice, so I'll put those away. I mean, I could just put everything in here, I guess. That I'm not currently using. Some more moon pool. 
More moon pool. More moon pool. Okay, well, if you didn't have it already, uh, this would be the spot to get the moon pool. Actually breathe. Is there anything else in here? Sample flask. Are we about to make alchemy stuff? It's a bunch. Yeah, there was a bunch of shit in here. And then. Uh oh. Let me look on the other side of this little building. There was that here. We can't do anything with this side. It's very odd sometimes when I'm exploring these ruins or there's just holes you can't really do anything with. What are you? Reginald? Hello. Little Reginald. I think we looked at this part already. I could be wrong. for the most part in their uh in our area right now i think yeah let's make our way toward whatever the hell this thing is and maybe we'll see some stuff along the way it's pretty far off though so it might Might not be anything we can really do much with. Or it's an extremely dangerous place. One of the two. <laughs> I probably should drop off my stuff real quick if I'm gonna go in another direction. Ooh, you know what? Actually, we should go down there. Because we tried to go down there before, and it was hell. It was just actual hell. Could not really navigate it. There were giant worms. We didn't have a sea moth yet. Alright, I'm gonna put... So this is gonna be the titanium. This is gonna be all the other ore. Or like natural... Like deposit pieces. So like gold, silver, the lithium. Uh, it's everything there. This is gonna be like stuff that's just out and about usually. So salt, quartz, rubies. Things like that. Uh, for right now, I'll just use this as, like, dump everything else until I figure out my organization system. But, uh, yeah. Got a lot there. And then I'm just gonna 
divulge in the five million lantern fruit that I've got. Mostly just like as a way to get as much, uh, hydration. And... we're good. Oh, actually wait, let me pull this stuff out too. There we go, I had way more to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, this, this'll, this'll be a nice area for storage. I, I'm confident in that. Quartz, copper, or no wait, the quartz I'll pull out. Lead, the diamonds, that's fine in there. Quartz is out in the world, so we're gonna put that in there, and then I don't know what we're gonna do with this yet. It's a non-functional laboratory equipment. I can only imagine this is stuff that you can like put down for RP or some shit. But, we'll see. I am maxed out, we can go back out. Yeah, we're good. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, we gotta see what the hell is over here. Man, I went out at nighttime. This was a mistake. <laughs> Sunk to the ocean bed. So it's at least like we can get to it. <laughs> Actually, wait, where is this? Oh, this is. Oh. This might be bad. This is at the front of the Aurora. Um. I turn my light on. I'm gonna have to be careful. Are you fucking kidding me? I forgot about the radiation. F the other thing I forgot is it affects you in the sea moth and just like in it's just in the vicinity of the aurora. So I need to go around, like big around. If I realized that, I would have taken the helmet with me. I can't see anything right now, dude. Oh, wait, okay. Mushroom. I'm gonna back up. Where am I? Dude, holy shit. Yeah, no. That, I need to take the helmet with me. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Not without health kits, at the very least. Which, actually, speaking of, let me at least stop over here. <laughs> yeah, if I realized it was gonna be by the Aurora, I would've brought this to begin with. I just should have looked up, I guess. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, so... That's kind of bad. Like, the radiation reached a point where it's basically next to my... Um, escape pod from the beginning. Like, that is uninhabitable right now. Anything in these? The grab trap, I'm not gonna worry about that. I think these are all empty. Be nice if I could like break them down for stuff I had before. Actually, see, can I? Oh. Extreme temperatures, so we'll need to do that for hot stuff eventually. Okay, yeah, no, I, I need to go back to my base to grab my helmet, because that was part of the suit. Fuck. That's annoying. Whee! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, let's do a big one. We. I am protected by all of these beings, and I love them. Okay, so I need the radiation helmet. 100%. go back. Actually, while I'm there, I'm gonna grab some health kits, just in case. Because I've got a feeling this is gonna be dangerous. Just a... a stark feeling. Oh, I left all my health kits over in the other life pod. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. I'm not too worried about that. Let's go back. Yeah, now I can just go in this direction and not worry about uh, radiation. probably going to check out this pod over here and once I've got an idea of stuff like that's around the area I'm probably going to call it there Rip to that one. Where are 
you. Seam off. While I'm near the Aurora, I should keep an eye out for if there's... Um... Like Cyclops pieces. Because if I can make that, that'd be sick. Speaking of, there's a hull, but I think this is the one piece I've... Oh, no! Okay, that's completed. Nice. Which piece am I missing? Prawn suit torpedo. I'm not going to worry about that. I just need the engine blueprint. So anything that looks like an engine... Is that an engine? No, it's a moon pool. Um, I don't remember if these guys are, like, harmful. I think they don't give a fuck. I think they're chill. Another hull. Uh oh! I remember we got like over here and then I started seeing the bone sharks. And there's a bunch of them, so I would rather just completely avoid them. Wait, I saw something. Oh, wait. Never mind. Thought it was something else. It's either a bone shark or... Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Wow, okay. I got some stuff going on here. There's a couple of those guys. I want to... Look over here. Just briefly. Scanner room. I'd stick. Volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Volcanic activity. That's not good, at least for me. However, I imagine there might be like something good to come with it. Like for heat generation. I think we're okay for right now. I just want to see if there's a way in this structure, but it doesn't look like it. We got some stuff here, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like... That's like a heat vent right there. Hate. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, ow. Who would have thought it's hot around here? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Go away! Chew! That's bad. 
I gotta get to my sh I gotta get to my boat. I've not had one of these guys come at me yet. It's not not cool. I think I brought a health kit. I'm gonna move on. Let's let me actually. I want to see if I can scan one of these things. There's so many of them. Okay, I'm gonna try to scan it really fast. Common bull bush. Not to be confused with the irregular bulb bush. Yeah. A lot of shocky boys around here. I want to be careful. But we are near the life pod that we need to be. Oh, shit. Okay. Hate that. Oh, God. That scared me. Hey. Go away. That one actually looks different. You aren't different. Oh well. Maybe it's just like the infection that they're dealing with. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Okay. These guys are violent. I need to get up and try to repair really fast. Hey! That is the cutting drill. That's a big boy too. He's a he's a chonker of a shark. Screw you. These guys do not want me to get near this pod. Um, I'm gonna park, like, over here and just try to book it in there. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. Not gonna worry too much. Just gonna grab a quick. Propulsion cannon. And then PDA. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Pod 12, Medical Officer Danby. Oh, there was a thing out here. Oh, Jesus. Everything is actually trying to kill me right now. Okay. I think we have, uh... Done all we can with that particular area. Although there is... I just noticed this hole over here. Be careful, because I don't want to get stuck in here. Maybe there is, like, some parts. I just straight up sound like horror music. Or not music, but just like a sound. Modification. Modification. <laughs> Water. There's something else. Nothing brand spanking new in here. Same old, same old. Can I get out? I can. Okay, good. Wait, can I get out? Oh, I can't get out from here. Uh-oh. How did I... Oh, it was here. Oh my god. I'm gonna get stuck. No! <sighs> 
Where am I gonna be? It put me back in my base. I died and lost some belongings. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Hold on, my activity feed is gone. Capybara. Welcome, welcome. So... I hate that. I think all I really lost was like... Did I lose like the blueprints that I got? No, because I got that already. Yeah. Wait, no. Hold on. Voice log. What about the data bank? Okay, I kept that. I thought there was another blueprint I had. I can't find it. Or no, I completed the blueprint for, I think it was the repulsion cannon. Or the propulsion cannon, rather. Okay, so I didn't lose much, except, uh... That's a problem. So I gotta make my way all the way back over there and get my seam off. Where'd you find those Cyclops engine fragments? There's a majority of them I found around the Aurora, I believe. And then there's th there's some that have been like scattered around the part to the north of the Aurora. I don't remember the exact location because I've just kind of found them here and there. But uh, that's what I roughly recall. Sick, thank you. For sure. I mean, I don't remember, like, in terms of just, like, a lot of tips and stuff for the game. I can't provide much because this is my first time playing as well. But, uh, that's just generally where I remember. You've been looking forever? Yeah. There's a... There's a plethora of stuff to explore in this, this here sea. Yeah, losing all that stuff. I mean, I didn't have much. It, it was just, like... I think the main stuff that I didn't like losing was, like, some of the, like, titanium that I scanned for. How far out did you die? Uh, pretty far out. Because I, I made a base. I, I put it a little bit more south. Or, I guess, no, it's, like, technically west of the aurora because it started to get very heavily radiated and i didn't want to build in the radiation so i just moved a little farther away wait oh wait i've seen life pod six before Passing 100 meters oh that's gonna be a problem I hope there's no leviathans this high. I don't think there are, but uh, I'm going to have to dive deep when I get close, if I can get to it. I should be fine. I'm going to come up for air real quick, just, just to be safe, you know. This bad. What'd you die from? I was exploring a... Um... I was exploring some wreckage down over here. And I drowned when trying to navigate out of it because it was... It had a lot of, like, annoying pipes to climb through. So... I'll make it back. We're fine. It was not too bad of a journey to make it back. Alright, let's get out of here. Because... I believe we found the... Um... 
What you call it? We found the stuff we were looking for. We've explored a lot tonight. The only thing I think we might do next time in terms of exploration. So we've seen this life pod. We got that one. We looked at this life pod. Next, I think, will be the proposed Degasi habitat. Everything else we've explored, though. So I'm going to mark these as, like... This one is safe, quote-unquote, as long as I'm with my Seamoth. Uh, this one is unexplored, so I don't know. This one was terrifying. I'd rather go back with my Seamoth. Um, having a little bit more depth to it. Everything else, though, good. Everything else is in a good spot. Super easy to find. I bet it is. I just unfortunately uh, think I'm going to be calling stream soon because I've been live for about six hours almost. It's almost, what, 2 a.m. for me? I played a good bit today. I'll likely be playing it more tomorrow. I... Need to figure out how much I'm going to play of it, though. Let's see, what is this? Some stuff here. I think it's sea moth fragments, yeah. Just along the way, let me grab some of this stuff. All these bits of salvage will be helpful in due time. Yeah, I'm sure it's not terrible to find it. It's just a matter of like, holy hell, he he just did a, he spell he spun all out of control that one. He must be drunk. But uh, yeah, I look forward to actually checking that one out because it sounds interesting. They they discovered some unique stuff while they were here, and uh. I'm sure the story tied to them will be very satisfying. Or at least it'll be an interesting listen to with the data pads and whatnot. Now, I don't know how it ends. I know that when I was on the island, there was a data pad 3. I've not listened to it yet because I want to hear 1 and 2 first wherever I find them. I assume we find them in the... in the Degasi hideout. These guys are also very chill. <laughs> Grab one of these. Thank you very much. satisfied. We explored a few new zones tonight. We discovered a lot of stuff. Um, I think what I want to do off after stream, I'm going to stay on like in game and I'm going to reorganize my base now that I've got like a dedicated storage room. And I want to plan out the rest of it, I think. Like what I'm going to have available in the base, etc, etc. I'm also debating if I want to build off-stream or not to save time. That way we can actually go around and, like, do shit on-stream. Yeah, here we go. I also wonder, can you, like, randomize the colors? No, doesn't look like it. It's like the name. 
This is this is just such a funny feature that they added in. Wait, I want to live in a yellow submarine. Um, I'm gonna do that. Sure. <laughs> the lemon lime boat. I've discovered a keybind. I don't know what's doing it, but it's like scrolling through my hotbar. On my... When I hit a mouse button. Alright. I do think that that is a satisfactory place to save chat. 